Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Good evening, everybody. My name is Kim Danke. I am the Shibboleth new member, Fast Track Instructor. And whether you're an actual new member or a member who joined a while ago and is just now ready to get started, or you are a member who's had great success but something happened and you need to get started again. We're here for you. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go over one of the laps in Fast Track. The Fast Track Laps is our system to teach you how to do this lifestyle, how to use your resources and make sure that I help you shorten your learning curve on learning everything that you need to know. And yes, just like Michelle did, if you are in the Zoom room, please find where your chat button is, then click where it says all panelists, and then choose the option for all panelists and attendees and say hello. I got Michelle Lytle on here and Phyllis Richardson. I'm so glad y'all are here with me. Those of you who are on Facebook, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're here. Even if you aren't hanging out with me the whole time, just say, just say hi. Hey, Jerry, glad you're here. And Jerry, if you'll do me a favor, click on your chat feature where it says all panelists and choose. I see some, I see some uh, likes flying on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And set your chat to all panelists and attendees for me. And let's see, Racina, Racina Batson. Hi, brand new. Welcome. Glad you're here. Hey, Catherine on Facebook. That is awesome. Well, just to kind of let everybody know about Fast Track. Fast Track is the curriculum that we have developed to teach you the lifestyle. And it's kind of like you're going to school, um, but it is put together with just very methodically, you're going to print out, or if you don't have a printer, you're at least going to read and save some documents. If you are a Facebook user, you're going to join some Facebook groups. That's all what lap one is about. Lap two is about making sure that your account is set up in the right way. And at the bottom of lap two, it is taking your fast track badge and making sure that you have a good foundation of where you're going. When you take that badge, when you, I mean, when you take that test and you pass the test and get that badge, it opens up your full food library, recipe library, and restaurant guide to you so that you can complete the rest of the laps. Yay. Thank you, Deb. I love that Deb is encouraging. Racina, welcome. You're going to love it, she says. So thank you for joining me on Facebook and in the Zoom room. Now, if you are finding me on Facebook and you don't know what you have found, you don't know what you're watching, just know that we have just announced a membership special. It is $69 and you get a lifetime membership. This is going to go to the first 1,000 people who join and then it's over. So we just want to let you know that you could go to www.shibolith.com deals.com and get your membership. All right. And remember, Shibboleth is a ministry and we would give it away for free if we could, but we can't, we can't pay mentors and developers for websites and stuff if we don't charge something. Plus most people, if they don't pay a little bit of something for it, they don't really care as much. They don't have any skin in the game. It doesn't mean quite as much. So we charge a nominal fee, but you get a great value out of it. And what we're going to teach you is we are going to teach you the habits that we should have been putting into play for years and years and years, but we haven't been. And now we're going to spell that out to you. We're going to help you learn to eat in a way that controls insulin because that is one of the keys to weight loss. Okay. So if you are curious, shibolithdeals.com. Hey, Cindy, I'm glad that you're here. We cannot hear this information enough. Awesome. Okay. Oh, Racina, you were, you were referred by Marla. I love Marla. Love Marla. Hey, Aaron, I'm glad you're here too. That's awesome. Well, good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew about that special offer. So we're going to be in Fast Track Lap 4. And if you have just joined and you are not, um, you have not done Lap 1, 2, and 3 yet, I want you to know you are welcome to stay. You are still going to learn things tonight. But if you're kind of confused about what I'm talking about, don't say it's too hard. I don't know what she's talking about because 
Sunday night and Monday night's webinar led up to last night and tonight, but there is no reason for you not to stay right now and, and watch and start seeing some of the features and the, the cool tools that you're going to have at your disposal, okay? Um, so we're going to look at lap three, I mean lap four. Lap four has a tutorial video, so if you want to watch this video tomorrow or whenever you're doing lap four just to refresh, then you can watch that little short tutorial video right there. And then when you're working your way through these laps, you simply, if, okay, let me give you a tip. If you have a computer, even though we kind of get used to using our phone for stuff, if you have a computer, I think that you would enjoy going through the laps more on a computer. And what I do is once I get logged into my account, I save it as a favorite and my favorites bar. Okay, so that would be a great place to do that. Once you get logged in, you can also save it as a favorite on your phone which is going to be great on your phone too, but I think you might enjoy it a little bit more on your computer if you have a computer. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're working through the laps. If you don't, this is all mobile friendly. It's just you have a bigger screen on your computer. Okay, so what you're going to do is you take your mouse and you hover your mouse over this link and a black box pops up. This black box is like you and I were talking. Why does Kim want me to do this link? And is there any special information I need to know about doing this particular link or task? It's all going to be written right there in the black box. So you read the black box. If you're on your phone, what you do is you lightly tap that information I and it'll pop up that black box. Okay. All right. So we're going to search the recipe library for your favorites. This is a database built by our Shibola family. As you are exploring, please heart each recipe you think you might like to try. Hearting the recipe adds it to your personal favorites, which can be found in your My Journal tab or in the My Favorites tab in the recipe library, okay? So we're just gonna simply click here and thank you, Michelle, for putting that in. Thank you. And if there's somebody on Facebook that wants to type in shibolithdeals.com, www.shibolithdeals.com, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're here in the recipe library. And hey, Denise, glad that you're here. Oh, by Tiani. I love Tiani. It's awesome. Good. Tiani's had great success and she will be a great person to help guide you through and into the lifestyle. It's awesome. And she's definitely guided you to the right place for tonight. Good. Now, Denise, did you hear me talk a little bit early? I mean, just a few minutes ago, you, you can stay tonight because I want you to stay and get connected with us, but make sure that you go back and watch the Sunday and Monday night webinars as well. And I will show y'all where to find those in the end. So we're in our recipe library. Who likes a cookbook? Anybody, anybody bought cookbooks over the years or they've been given cookbooks at uh, yes, Michelle likes a cookbook. That's awesome. Basically, this is this is your cookbook. Okay, this is your cookbook. We've got beautiful pictures in our cookbook. We have our little sections in your cookbook. This is a cookbook that is lots of people's old favorites. Yep, Erin loves cookbooks. Y'all, you know what I do? I saved this as a favorite. Once I got to the recipe library, I saved it as a favorite on my phone. That way, when I'm on my phone, I can just pop up a recipe and, and like put it on a little stand in the kitchen and look at it. But when you open up your cookbook or your recipe library, you're going to see some different pictures up here. I want you to know these pictures are dynamic. What that means is in a website talk is that they change. So when you come back to this page, it won't be the same pictures. They will have changed. So if there's something like this right here, whatever that is, that looks really good. What I would do is I would take a piece of paper or screenshot it or something and I'd write down creamy, parm, ajan, crusted chicken. You're going to want to write it down. OK, because then you can come back and you can look at it, but it will change and it won't be the same thing when you get back. Let's see. Parmesan yogurt chicken. All right. Sounds good. Oopsie bread. OK, that sounds good. Homemade Dijon mustard, pizza roll ups, 
citrus glazed ham, taco soup, and chicken curry. So if you like some of those, go ahead and write the name down because these pictures are there just to kind of let you see what some things look like. But every time you come back to this, it's different. So just be aware of that. So we, when you come to a page on the website, always read everything from first word to last word. This says select filters to use our weight loss meter. Use the meter to search for recipes that are ranked negative three for most efficient fat burning to positive three, which are still approved but are not the best for fat burning. Use the sliders on the chart to choose a meter range. For instance, if you want to see all options that are negative one to negative three, you just move your sliders and create that range and then choose set, okay? So if we wanted to go to the filters first, we would just simply click these filters right here. When you click on those filters, it's gonna give you these filters, cooking for one to two people, cooking for the family, crock pot meals, few ingredients, and no bake. And just for the fun of it, I'm clicking no bake. We hadn't clicked no bake in this class before. So I'm gonna click no bake. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this down to negative one, negative three. And I'm gonna hit set. I'm gonna see what kind of things they've got here. And a lot of this is just playing and finding things that you might like. So once you have these different things listed here, if you click in this weight loss meter box, it is going to readjust this list according to the weight loss meter. So now it's given me the most negative uh, meals top at the top. Seafood slimming soup, a lot of people like that. Look, 208 people have said they like this and they give it a 4.9 rating. And it's what category or type it's in is a featured um, recipe and it's in soups and salads. This basil lime grilled chicken is extremely popular as well. It's a negative three on the weight loss meter. 313 people have taken the time to say they like it and it's got an average rating of five. So let's click on this one. Well, before I go there, you know how in a cookbook they're broken out by sections. Here's your sections over here on the right hand side. But when we were in that other, the very first view, it gave you like appetizer and then it literally listed out every recipe and appetizer and then it went to breakfast and literally listed out everything that was in breakfast. So if you're wanting to go just to a section directly, it's probably easiest just to click right over here. All right. Anything that you heart as a favorite, heart it even if you don't know if it's a favorite yet because you're really hearting it just so it'll be easy to find again in the future. Um, because then if you make that recipe and you really like it, you can leave it hearted. You can go back in and give it a rating. If you, you know, it wasn't your favorite, you don't want to make it again. You just simply go in and unheart it and it will remove it from your favorites. But your favorites are right here. Do you see right above this green add new recipe button? It says my favorites. That's where your your hearted recipes will be. All right, so we're going to click on this basil lime grilled chicken. And it says, okay, let's see. It's a negative three on the weight loss meter. Right here, you can print the recipe. If you wanted to print that, you can print it, three hole punch it, put it in a binder in your kitchen. So here's all the ingredients listed. One of the things that I love about this cookbook is that, well, this website really, is that we have layer upon layer of learning. So we've got uh, this listed, three limes, juice and zest divided. Well, it gives you lime. It tells you it's category five. Okay. And then MCT oil, it links it. So if you're unsure of what an item is and how it's used, all you have to do is just click on them. There you go. You click on it. And then you come down here and you read the directions. And then always look at the serving notes. So this is a category one plus MCT plus condiment. And it does say chicken needs to marinate one hour before grilling. That's an important bit of information. Then you can come down below and you can read comments. It is good to read the comments so that you can know if you need to do something slightly different. And then you can also add a side dish with this because this is considered a category one, which is great. So if you wanna know what these things are, you can just simply click on that. I like that this is listed in that way. So let's say I'm gonna search. Last night, Gloria was asking us about lasagna. So I'm gonna put in lasagna and find a lasagna recipe. So we got lasagna.
Okay, I recalculated this. We've got this cheesy skillet eggplant lasagna. There's another eggplant lasagna and so forth. But what I like to do is I'll come down through here and I'll glance and see how many likes certain things have gotten. Okay, so come on down here. Uh, slow cooker lasagna, spaghetti squash lasagna, spaghetti squash lasagna boats, and mini lasagna bites. Okay, so we've got some happy campers, eggplant lasagna. That's my friend Becky. She is the happy camper. Her name's Becky Camp. Okay, so let's just out of curiosity, click on this cabbage lasagna. Now, here's the thing. You might have just said to yourself, gross. Maybe you don't like cabbage. Maybe you just said in your head, gross. Well, what, what we're doing on Shibola is we are finding new things. We're being adventurous and we're trying new things. We are on a treasure hunt. We're on an adventure and you get to try new things. We're on a nutrition adventure. So it tells you about cabbage um, and then MCT oil and then onion, minced garlic, and so forth. So you can read all of that. Well, this is a negative two on the weight loss meter. 265 people have said they like it. So that's pretty good. And then you could read the directions there and there's your serving notes. It's a category one plus two plus condiment. Use your hand rules. You can use an approved marinara sauce in place of the homemade sauce to make it easier. It's a nice little note there. This was submitted by Missy White. Missy White is actually one of our mentors. She works Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. In fact, right here, if I go over here and say uh, cabbage lasagna, if I go right here, Missy is available. I'm going to say, hi, Missy. Looking at the cabbage lasagna you submitted and showing people how awesome our mentors are. Have a great night. Okay, so I'm gonna send that to Missy and she'll reply. And then right down below, you'll see if anybody else has said anything and you can read those because those are helpful. And look, here we go. Somebody loves this thing right here. Look at there, it says you were heaven sent. So that's fun, it's fun. All right. So now what I'm going to do is she says, it's so yummy. It's so yummy. So that's the way that you chat with a mentor. This feature is available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. OK, uh, Joni manages this, this chat 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Missy manages it from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And if it's outside of those hours, you know, you can go on to the Silver Level group and ask a question on Facebook. If you are not a Facebook user, then this is your best bet right here. But if you are a Facebook user, you actually might get a lot more answers and a lot more variety of responses by asking on there. So you can just kind of. Um, ask on there. A lot of our members will ask on there. All right. So once you've kind of played around in the recipe library and you've hearted a few things and you know uh, how this recipe library works, all you have to do at that point is simply come and check this box. Okay. Okay, come back and check that box. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a grocery list. In order to add foods to a grocery list, the grocery list must be created first. If you shop at multiple stores, this is a good time to create a grocery list for each store. So I'm going to click here. And it's bringing me to the grocery list area. Now, when you are no longer playing around in fast track and you feel comfortable that you understand what all these things are, you're simply going to find the grocery list in this resources, foods and recipes tab right here. This is going to be one of your most favorite tabs. I'm going to click add grocery list. I'm going to pick a date. I'm going to choose Kroger today, but if you wanted to create one for Kroger, for Ingalls, for Food City, for Trader Joe's, wherever you go, you're just going to, you can just go ahead and create those. So once you have created this grocery list, 
All you do is come check that box. That's how simple that little task is. And then you check the box. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a food from the food library to the grocery list. For practice, pick any food item in the food library and add it to one of your grocery lists. Adding a food item to the grocery list can be done from two places. In the food list, it's the last button to the right of the food item listing. Or once you have opened a food item, it's the green button that looks like a list. So we're going to have a look at both of those things. So I'm going to click here. And I'm just going to search for a food item. I'm just going to choose almonds since it was there and easy to pick. So almonds. So this is anything that has the word almonds in it. Southern Grove cocoa almonds, skinny dipped almonds, any flavor. Now look, these are positive numbers on the weight loss meter. You know what? I really want to see negative numbers on the weight loss meter. You can use those other things. It's just that when you're getting started, negative numbers are best, all right? And it, don't be afraid to use something that you already have at home and things like that if you've got some that are positive numbers. But negative numbers are better for weight loss. Okay, so we've got these. We've got these blue diamond almonds, the habanero, the spicy dill pickle, the emerald cocoa roast almonds. That sounds good. I'm going to mark that as a heart. Kashi Go almond butter protein bar. That sounds good. So I'm going to mark that as a favor. And I know I really like these optimum nutrition on protein almonds. They're really good. Okay. So I'm just going to click on these emerald cocoa roast almonds. That looks good. Okay. And just out of curiosity, let's look. This is a superfood, can also be used as a snack. So one handful is a snack and two handfuls is a meal. Remember, you can eat superfood by itself. So if you see a green box right here, it's, it means that you could buy it in our store and anything that you order from our store, $30 or more ships for free. But when you don't see our store and if you can go to buy it on Amazon, when you click here to go to Amazon, it actually helps to bullet a little bit. We'll get two to four cents on the dollar depending on the stuff that's put in your cart. And even if you click here and it takes you to Amazon, but you don't add these cocoa roast almonds to your cart, but you decide to buy a computer and then you decide to buy toilet paper and uh, mascara and whatever else that we decide to throw into a cart, Shibboleth will get credit for that. And that's why I always, when I'm purchasing anything from Amazon, I go through a find it on Amazon link in our food library. Even if I don't want the food, I don't add it to the cart, but I made it to the Amazon website through that link and Amazon will give Shibola two to four cents on the dollar. I mean, we get a little less than a hundred dollars per month for it, but the more people that know about it, the, the, that amount could go up. Okay. And every little bit helps us our ministry. So one, okay, we already said that a small palmful, small palmful would need to be less than a handful, right? For it to be considered a condiment. And as a snack, it's a zero on the weight loss meter. See how this is a one on the weight loss meter. That's if you're using it as a superfood. Now always snacks typically go to zero weight loss meter. And that tells you right there in that description. And somebody says that you can buy these at Publix probably get them at Kroger too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here and then I get to choose my little Kroger list that I just created and there it goes. I am going to go back one page and show you where like if you just know that you want emerald cocoa roast almonds and you don't need to open it up and look at all those details this is where you can just add it to the grocery list right there. Now I'm going to add it to the angles list because it won't let me add it twice to the same list. So there's that. Um, anybody have a food? Y'all tell me a food we can look up and add it to our food library. Then we're going to move on to adding recipes to the recipe. I mean, adding recipes to the food library. What are y'all's ideas about a food tonight? And those of you who are new, this is so fun to have all of these resources, but we want you to watch Mon Sunday and Monday night to understand the concept of the whole lifestyle, okay? Popcorn, the sale says popcorn. Okay, so let's do popcorn.
And I always just slide that down there just to make sure I eliminating things that aren't the best of the best. Look at that. My list was kind of long, but then when I slid that down to the negative numbers, I don't have nearly as much, but popcorners, flex energy, packed protein crisps and zesty Z Mediterranean popcorn. It actually, I love to read these things. Like I don't even know what this is. So I would click on it and open it up and look and see what it looks like. Okay. Spicy za'atar, thyme, herbs, and chives. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that would be good. And we can just add it to our grocery list. That not might not have been the popcorn. Yeah, I'll show you where that is, uh, Racina. I'm going to show you where that is in the end. It's in lap one. I mean, excuse me. It's in lap two of Fast Track. I'll show you. Audrey. Audrey says ice cream. Okay, we have over 60 approved ice creams in here. You're welcome, Racina. Yes. Okay, so we got some ice creams here. I'm going to slide my little thing down and just look. I can always look. It left nothing. When I slid that down to negative one, negative three, it left nothing. So that's a really great example of now I can expand. I can expand it and hit set. And it's going to pull some ice creams back in there. Because, you know, ice creams really aren't great for weight loss because they're just pre-digested. Um, they can be used for a snack. They can be used for these wow challenges and stuff, but it's not like your, your body is having to put forth much effort in breaking down ice cream. Uh, this Carbolite ice cream, I think is delicious. We sell this in our store and it is, you can eat a lot of it for not much. Now, I mean, for just an extra, you can eat a lot of it a lot more than you would expect. And that's kind of fun to be able just to eat that. So I'll show you that in just a second. And there's Halo Top, the light ice cream mini pops. So let's click there first. And let's just say that you go, mm, that sounds good. I love the mint chip ones. Uh, it's a snack, up to one snack a day or an extra. So up to three, wow, you could have up to three of those as a snack or one as an extra. This is the type of thing I might try to keep at an extra because it's just one and I would might eat another snack on something else, uh, but I would try to keep that as an extra myself. Now, as a snack or a like nutrition is included for the mint chip flavor, but all flavors are approved as an extra. It's a zero on the weight loss meter as a snack or one as a snack after you've already had an extra. <laughs> it's a plus one on the weight loss meter. So you just want to take those things into account. Now, when I'm helping people and they say, well, I want to eat so-and-so, I say, how are you using that? Are you using it as an extra? Or are you using it as a snack? Is it going to be part of your meal? So I try to, I, I only use foods in ways that they've been told to me that I can use them. This is saying I could use this as a snack or an extra. Just in general, me scanning this pretty quickly I would use this as an extra and I would do another one, another item as a snack. So that's just me, but you kind of have to look at these things and start to figure your, figure out what you like to do, but always know how you're using something because when you start Shibola, we, we really want people to just have three, what we kind of call eating episodes in a day, but we know that when you start Sometimes you're coming off of really bad habits of grazing a lot, and we we got to help you get the results that you need in the beginning while staying perfect. So we say there's three meals, and you can use also an extra in a day, a snack in a day, and you could use freebies if you needed to. But Travis will teach you more about narrowing all of that down as you start to get closer to your goal. Um, now, just to let you know, in the beginning, when I started Shibboleth, I just went straight to three meals. Now that I'm in maintenance, I actually have added in a snack and an extra, and I maintain within a five pound uh, weight range. And I, and I do that on my perfect day still. Um, sometimes I just do three, but in weight loss, I wanted to get it done and I just did three. But you got to do what works for you to keep you in EFB. That's the most important thing. So I, if you saw, I added this while I was talking, I added it to my grocery list already.
And then this Carbolite, let's have a look at this. So this is a cookies and cream flavor, but they also have uh, neutral, which is really vanilla. And then they've got chocolate. And if the cookies and cream is the one I've had recently. It's delicious. This is actually a yogurt and it's got great strains of yogurt in it. I will take a couple of tablespoons of this and put it into an Oikos triple zero yogurt. And I actually turned into somebody who likes that yogurt that way because I don't like yogurt I've never eaten yogurt and then Shibby Shop Sherry gave me some of this and said do this with it and I did and it was like a mousse and it was absolutely delicious Michelle says that the peanut butter is good good so there's peanut butter flavor as well it's a snack or an extra but look at this up to 12 ounces is a snack that's a lot and up to two ounces is an extra as an extra it's a zero on the weight loss meter as a snack it's a plus one on the weight loss meter and right here, when you click on this link, it shows you kind of how to make it into little individual servings, like right away in your blender, half a cup of Shibboleth or Carbolite ice cream mix, 28 ounces of crushed ice and a quarter cup of water, and you just blend that baby up and it's delicious. Now this, you would have to add this to your Shibboleth list. Yeah, I got my Shibboleth list because that's where you buy that. Most things, you know, you can get out of, everything that you need comes from your regular grocery store. But what the Shibola store carries is specialty items that we've found over the years makes us happy. And so we have just conveniently put them all together in one spot for us to purchase. Okay, so we've added a couple of foods, the food library. Once you just, I mean, excuse me, we've added them to our grocery list. Once you have done that, you simply come check this box. Okay, because all this is, is is introducing you to these features. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a recipe to the grocery list. This is so cool. Each recipe required ingredient can be added to a grocery list with the click of a button. Once the recipe has been opened, click the green add to grocery list button. Okay, so now I clicked that button and it takes me to the recipe library. Do you see how those pictures have changed? They're different than the ones before. Now, listen, I like a meatloaf. Let me click on that. That looks good. Who likes meatloaf? Anybody else besides me like meatloaf? Now, I do have to say that my stepmother's meatloaf is the actual best in the whole wide world. So I have a holiday for sure when I eat hers, but it's delicious. Okay, so there's all your foods that you'll need. I'm going to scan down here. It's a four and a two. It's a four because of the meat they've chosen to use. If you choose to use 96% and, and uh, higher in the leanness, it could be a one. Recipe serves six. Yep, and there we go. It says use 96% or better meat to make this a negative two weight loss meter meal because right now it's a negative one. And then there's good things to say right there which is great. So let's say that you want to add, I'm going to add, actually, I want to heart that because I, I need to, I need to find some new recipes. If you want to add it to the grocery list, you simply come and check right there. And I'm going to add it to my Kroger grocery list. All right. Now I'm going to go back to this cabbage lasagna and just add it to the grocery list. Okay, so once you've added a few things to the grocery list, all you do is come check this box. And we are trying to move our way through all of Fast Track Labs and get these boxes checked in the end by doing these things. The very last task on here is simply to check out your created grocery lists. So each grocery list can be customized before going shopping. When a full recipe is added to the grocery list, it adds every item needed. You may already have some staples at home. When you look at your grocery list, you can edit the items you do not need to purchase at the store. Notice how each item in the grocery list is listed by category. Isn't this amazing? I love that feature. Again, layer after layer after layer of educating, uh, which is fabulous. So when I click that link, it simply takes me to my grocery list. So I click on the Kroger one that I've just been building. There's my list. To print it, I can just click print right there. And then I can just check this off. But you know what I do? I go to this on my phone, and as I'm in the store, I hit this little remove button, and it removes it once I put it in my buggy. 
So that's the way I use that. But let's just look through here. So category one, we're going to get some low-fat cottage cheese, some craft fat-free shredded mozzarella, some 96% lean ground meat, cocoa, almonds, cabbage, bread. Okay, so let's just say I already have this ketchup at home. I'm going to just remove that. Let's see. Let's say I've already got that grated Parmesan cheese at home. I can remove that. So really, it's just, you know, you're customizing your list. Um, onions, whole, uh, I mean, lean ground meat, whole eggs, basil, and garlic. So let's just say I already have basil at home. Okay, so there's my list. Now, let's say that while you are, you're thinking through, or maybe you have on your refrigerator, you write the things that you run out of. And you need to add them to the list. You simply click add grocery items. It takes you to the food library and I'm going to add water. I added water last week too. I need to add water to every single grocery list. I'm always needing to buy the water. You can get water from the tap or your fridge or filters and other things, but I just buy the water. It makes my life easy. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to click water. Oh, I didn't even have to click it, y'all. I shouldn't have really clicked it. It doesn't matter, but I can click it from either place. Okay, so I've added that. And then let's just say that I need some uh, Classico. I like to make a pizza sandwich. So let's say I want to get the Classico traditional pizza sauce. There we go. I'm just going to click add to grocery list. Add. And then once you have added those things, you simply just go back to your grocery list. And I'm going to show you. I went to the resources, foods, and recipes. You come down here. You, you skip over the grocery store search one. You come down here to my grocery list. And then you can click on Kroger. There's your list. There's your print button. And you can print that out, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here because I want to show you something else. So when I click on this green button, resources, foods, and recipes, and I click on grocery store search, this shows me some stores where people have found things that they like. Okay, look, Aldi, we have 284 items in our food library that can be found at Aldi. That would lead you to believe you can find some good things that are Shibboleth approved at Aldi, right? Buy low, 246 items at buy low. Costco, 172 items. Think about this though. These items are things that members put in. Shibboleth didn't go around and find out that all these items are at these places. It's this, this is member entered data. So we come down here, Food City's got 115, Food Lion, 329. Walmart, 1,009 items at Walmart. 320 at Super Target, and there may be more. It's just that people haven't entered the info there. Sprouts, 215. Publix, 776. Kroger, 1,072. And the reason these are so high is because more people shop at these stores. And so they're coming home and going, oh, yeah, there's stuff there, there's stuff there. But there's probably more than 12 items at Lidl or Lidl, however you say it, Lidl. Um, it's just that people need to come home and Tell us, Ingles, 639, but I'll tell you what, I actually find a lot at Ingles, a lot. So let's click on this Ingles list. It's one of my favorite grocery stores. So we come down here and look, people have added their own personal Ingles. You can come in here and you can add your own personal grocery stores in there. That's member entered data, which is really cool. So now over here, these are the, these are the items that people are saying they have found at Ingles. So you just kind of come through here and look and you might think, okay, I'm going to shop at Ingles. Let me pick up these things at Ingles, which is great. Got all those pages. Now, if you want to look at more items, you can just click this button here. Choose that you want to see 100 items. And then you can just scroll down and see more. I like these frozen kind bars. 
So let's say I want to buy some of those. I click on the item and then I add the grocery list. And since I'm Ingalls, let me click on my Ingalls grocery list. So do you see how it's kind of helpful to have multiple grocery lists open from these different stores? Now you could probably find these kind ones at Kroger too. Um, but here's the way to tell. I'm in this kind bar. Now notice this is a plus two on the weight loss meter. This one definitely is a snack and it's a plus two. So it's not even, the, it's not a snack that is phenomenal for weight loss. We'll come on down here and it's just showing that you can buy them at Ingalls, but I'm pretty sure I have bought these at my Kroger, but I would only want to mark those in that buying them at Kroger if I had recently just bought them. I don't want to guess that I've purchased them there. Let's see. Awesome. Anna says that Aldi uses Instacart too, so you can have your groceries delivered. It's fabulous. Yeah, so you can just make your list and go into the Aldi web or the Instacart website and buy all these things and have them delivered. So that is fabulous. So y'all, we're going to wrap up a few minutes early, but if you have any questions about anything that we've gone over tonight, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to show Racina and let's see. Our other, yeah, Racina, where to find the other things, and Denise, where to find, okay, so Racina and Denise, Fast Track is where you start learning, okay, so what you do, when you log into your website, uh, Anna, I'll look that up just a second, let's look that up. When you log into your website, since you're brand new, it should be popping up to Fast Track right away. The Fast Track is where you want to focus. If I can get people to put blinders on during this first week and absolutely look at nothing else on the website besides reading this paragraph, watching this little tutorial video, reading the black box, clicking on the link, Go into Kim's events, registering for the events over the week. If I can get people to do those steps, we're in good shape because you trust me. You trust the fact that I put this together in a way that is going to methodically help you build on top of, you know, you're building your framework of knowledge. So then the next thing is you're going to watch these little 14 videos. These 14 videos take less than one hour one hour to watch okay and at the end of there there's a test you can go ahead and watch that test right then and then look right here from welcome packet to meal plan worksheet these are things that used to be in our welcome email but instead of putting putting them in a welcome email they're just all right here now so you either print them if you have a printer if you don't have a printer you can just save them or you don't even have to save them. You can just open them and read them. But once you've opened them and read them and you are confident that you know where to find these again, just go ahead and check the box. If you are a Facebook user, simply come down here and join these groups. If you are not a Facebook user, just check the box like you joined them, okay? And then decide what day is going to be your Shibboleth birthday and make your first journal entry and then check that box. Now, lap two, this is confir confirming your email, finding your ideal weight. So many people don't even know what their ideal weight should be, including me. I had no idea. I just randomly picked a number. And then there's a full body assessment. All of these things are going to help educate us. Do you know that what Shibboleth is, is really a continuing education unit on taking care of our bodies? Because we really didn't learn much about taking care of our bodies we've just we were born and then we were subject to our parents and grandparents and schools giving us whatever food was there and it might not have been the best foods it might not have been the best habits that we watched and now as adults we have to decide for ourselves that we want to do the right thing and we have to be brave enough to do those things then complete your profile, making sure to record your starting weight and starting measurements. Our website will give you some graphs if you have given it the data. If you don't give it the data, it doesn't give you the graphs. You're going to want to take a before front and side picture. 
because you're going to be changing so quickly. And then if you don't take that picture, people are like, bummer, I did not take my picture. They also bummed that they didn't take their measurements either because there could be a week that you don't lose any weight. And if that happens, take your measurements. You'll say, wait a minute, I didn't, my, the scale has, it takes a second to catch up, but look at these inches I've lost. It's very encouraging. But if you don't have the starting info, it's hard to allow that to motivate you because you don't have the info to refer to. Define your why. There are going to be days where you wake up and you are not excited about doing this. You don't have to be excited about doing it. You brush your teeth without excitement. You put on your deodorant without excitement. There's exciting times that we should eat food. Weddings, anniversaries, birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. There's fun times to eat food. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, unless it's something special, we should be doing the right thing. But we might not wake up motivated to do it. You need to have a very powerful why written down so that you can access it and use it to motivate you. Now, Denise and Racina, this is where you're going to find the webinars. So in lap two, where it says watch the seven nightly webinars, this is where you're going to find Sunday night and Monday night. And this is last night's, all right? So this one is about, they're, they're all about an hour. This one's a little bit less than an hour. They're all just about an hour and you can watch them. And it is kind of repetitive at some point, but there is nothing wrong with you hearing things multiple times in this lifestyle. To change our habits, we have to hear things multiple times. We have got to learn to be our own coach. If you pl have played a sport or you've had children that played sports, they go to practice, they play games, they hear the same thing over and over and over and over. Think about this. You are now playing the game of life. How well are you playing the game of life? I don't know. Um, I don't feel like I was playing that well before Shibboleth, but with this, I'm playing well. I'm playing well now because I know the rules and I follow them and then I'm just excited to do it. Okay, but this is where you're gonna find those webinars, okay? Y'all y'all, let me know. Let me pull my little chat feature back up. Oops. Okay, yeah, Aaron, I'll look at that too. Uh, Jerry. Awesome, Jerry. I'm glad that that was helpful. Good. Now, Racina and Denise, do y'all know where to find those webinars now? Good. Awesome. Thank you, Racina. I'm telling you, I love technology and um, I, I, y'all, y'all haven't heard me say this yet. Probably. I like that I can catch up on the webinars. Yes. Yes, you can. The Sunday is the Mac Daddy webinar. That's the lifestyle overview. You do not want to miss that one for sure, because that is the one where I tell you you do these five things every single day and you're going to start getting results. This is not a conceptual, uh, I think I'll, I think I might do this. This is, we're going to do these things. They are very concrete, actionable, measurable things. But Racina, I used to be a school teacher and a principal. I've got a master's in education. So I hope that I'm good at, I hope I'm good at uh, explaining it. Will there be a replay? A replay of this one? This one will be, um, yeah, yes. This one will be, um, as soon as this one uploads, oh, Sunday? Yes, yes. I say, so what happens is I do this live every night at 730 for those people who can join me live. If you're unable to join live, then it will, it will always be recorded, but it starts over every Sunday and runs through Saturday, starts over every Sunday and runs through Saturday because we're always getting new members in and they need to have all of this at their um, convenience. Yes, yes. Then the, the website that I use on Monday night is right here. Okay, that's my simple food combining webinar. And then if you have not passed your fast track uh, test yet and haven't earned your badge, you take it right there. Now, this is the badge you'll earn. It says complete at the bottom but please don't think that you are complete with fast track yet. You completed the test, but what the test does is it opens up your food library, recipe library, and restaurant guide to you so that you can complete lap three, four, five, and so forth. 
All right, so let's see. Erin, let's look at what we're going to do tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, Erin, we are going to be looking at void replacements and freebies, extras, snacks, and meal replacements. In lap six, that's where we're going to be looking at the restaurant guide and wow challenges. And then in lap seven, we're going to make meal plans. Now, the thing is, I'm hoping that by the time you get to Saturday, that you will have seen that in lap one, these things that you print, there's a lot of food ideas in those things that you print or read. If you like the ideas, you need to start creating your lists of ideas, your lists of your favorite lean proteins and uh, fibers, carbs, et cetera. In lap two, this webinar right here in this link, that's going to be a great place to find foods that you can eat. In lap three, playing in the food library, that's a place that you can find foods. Then right here, you're making lists of your favorites and you're building meals right there from your simple, simple meals. You're building those right there. And then what we did tonight we went over recipes tonight, recipes, and that's a great way to find meals. And then we're going to go over more tomorrow night, Friday night, and Saturday night. By Saturday night, you should be able to have lots and lots of different uh, ways to find meals to eat on the Shibboleth lifestyle. Now, IMF, Erin is asking about IMF. I actually do not talk about IMF in Fast Track. I'll, I'll explain is there a timeline to complete all seven? Okay, so Racina, personally, I think that it should be completed within seven days. So what I like for people to do is go ahead and get lap one and two completed, you know, within the first two days, because they aren't hard things and you are very excited when you get started. You might as well get them done while you're, while you're excited and motivated. Let's get these done. So I kind of consider this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But they aren't, they aren't listed by day like that because we wouldn't want somebody to think that if they joined on a Wednesday that they couldn't just get started. So let's call this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know what I mean? So you can just get started. So I would say seven. Yes. Yes. Just like you, Denise. That's right. So I would go ahead and get started today with lap one because these things aren't hard and you're really, really interested and excited. So let's take advantage of that. Now, IMF, Aaron. So once everyone is finished with Fast Track and you get to lap seven, right here, this links you to Travis's original daily doses. So you'll go there. And currently, these, this is called silver, silver level uh, daily doses. And these are, these will take you about three hours to watch. So what I did was I watched these over a course of a couple of nights. The funny thing is I watched these in a hotel room in Austin, Texas. So I was on a work trip and everybody else was out shooting pool and drinking beer. And I don't really do either one of those things. So I went back up after dinner every night and I watched these. And when I came back on a Monday, I went to the grocery store on Tuesday and started on April 10th, 2019. I lost 50 pounds. Didn't even know I had 50 pounds to lose. Uh, my goal was to lose 35. I lost 50. And now I've been maintaining that for about two years. So it's been awesome. But this is the silver level daily doses. What these are going to do is these are going to reinforce, reinforce everything that you've done in Fast Track, but in Travis's way, all right? See, Travis is motivational. And Travis lost over, he's like 130 pounds, okay? He lost over 100 pounds, got off all prescription medications. I was never on any prescription medications, okay? And he's been battling this most of his life. I mean, I always knew that I needed to keep everything in check. So just imagine if I hadn't tried to keep things in check, in check over the years, I would have had more than 50 pounds to lose. But this is, this is Travis's way of explaining it. And I think that you need to hear both ways. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying all of this to get to Aaron's question about IMS, uh, IMF. Okay, what a great question. Racina, Travis is our founder. Travis has been doing this lifestyle now for 20 years. 
20 years and you'll hear his story at some point, but you will get to know him through watching this. These are kind of crazy and wacky and wild because he's a hoot. All right. He's a hoot. But Travis is our founder, his wife, Sasha. She is our CEO. She actually owns the company. It's called Uncommon Paths. I love the name. We are taking an uncommon path. And if you look up, there's other, there's other reasons for the name Shibboleth. And there's, um, there's lots of videos out there about that. But y'all just focus on Fast Track first, then go here. If y'all will do this in this methodical, organized way, you'll be much happier about it. But Shibboleth, when I looked it up, it said, it said, for a people group that are set apart with often outdated ideas. And I thought, great, I love that, because I don't want to be like the world. I do not. The world is, mm -mm, no, I don't want to have anything to do with what they're doing. Let me, let me do this. I've done enough of what they were doing. I had enough of SAD, the standard American diet. I had enough of that. This right here sets me apart, and I don't mind that what I'm doing is um, disciplined. I don't mind it. It's not a bad word. Okay, so all of that to still get back to Aaron's question about IMF. What IMF is, is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is really just a Shibboleth perfect day where you have gone at least 12 hours without eating. And that can include your overnight sleeping time. Hey, Tiani, I see you on Facebook. Your friend is here. Um, so where you go at least 12 hours without eating using nighttime sleep. So if you, if you do that, Aaron, you can go ahead and in your journal where it says IMF, you can go ahead and choose that day. It's just a regular Shibboleth day where you go at least 12 hours without eating. Actually, a lot of people meet that qualification. But let's see, Racina, I'm a flight attendant and working quite a bit for the next two weeks. I hope to stay on track. Yeah, just watch it when you can. When you get to those hotel rooms, Racina, you just watch these videos. You just watch these videos and you do these things in those hotel rooms, okay? You can do it. You can do it because you have to say, what was I doing before and that I can replace this with momentarily while I learn it? And then I could, you know, maybe go back. If you, if you were going out and hanging out with friends, you might say, I'm not going out with y'all tonight. I'm going to go do this. <laughs> That's what I did. So it's just little decisions that we have to make for our continuing ed units. Um, good. Awesome. Awesome, Racina. That's wonderful. So back to Aaron's question about IMF. So once you have watched all of these silver level daily doses, do you see there's another video level right here called gold? We're going to combine these into a level called journey and get rid of silver and gold. But, um, but for now, it's still gold. When you click here on the gold level daily doses, this teaches you about all of those other advanced types of perfect days. There's intermittent fasting right there. And there's more info on intermittent fasting, more info on intermittent fasting. And then there's even information about divine days, which means eating very, very clean eating, that type of stuff. So we teach you these different types of days. One of the things that I love about Shibboleth is that nobody is trying to force me to go down any types of, of um, avenues. You know, like you hear out there in the world, oh, you need to eat clean. You need to eat organic. You need to eat non-genetically modified. Okay, all of that is fine and dandy and great and awesome. But if that's not where you are in your journey, it's hard to go from where you might be to just that. So what we do is we get the results and then as we get the results, we get to feeling better and then we start learning more and we can start incorporating all of that in here. This whole thing is like you're going from kindergarten to college with all of this knowledge. This is just the knowledge that we need and it's so important, so, so important. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do and we'll hop off is I'm going to help Anna find some gluten-free bread. So I'm simply going to click on this resources, foods, and recipes, food library. And then I do have a link over here. See right here, there's two places that you could do this, Anna, right here. Do you see where it says gluten-free products? 
you could simply click there and look at all the gluten-free products. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on breads because you specifically asked about bread. So I'm going to click on breads. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's generating the list of breads. Gluten-free, there is a filter. Do y'all see these filter? Allergen-free, certified USDA, dairy-free, excellent source of fiber, gluten-free. We'll click on gluten-free. So once I click on that filter, it eliminates anything that has gluten in it. So there are your choices. There's your choices right there. Now, if you'll notice that there's, there's some that are negative threes, so those would be really great. I'm going to go and put this at negative one to negative three, because I always try to start with the best of the best, but then I can expand. So these are delicious. These Scandinavian fiber bran crisps, I've got them in my pantry right now. They, I, I like the pumpkin seed flavor and the uh, sesame, uh, like sunflower and pumpkin. You can find them in our store right there, boom. And there's a lot of things that you can do with these. I just print them out. I printed out a list. I'm gonna show you what I printed. I printed this right here so I wouldn't have to look it up every time. I taped it to a gallon size Ziploc bag and then I just store my Brand Crisp bread in there. And then there's two little videos about Brand Crisp. There's little nuggets all over this website. That's why I call it like you're being, you're on a treasure hunt. You're finding little treasures everywhere, but those are delicious. Now they're, it's not really a bread though, Anna. It's more like a cracker. So that would be a good thing to use as a cracker. And then we have the Julian Bakery Paleo Thin Coconut Bread. And then we've got this thin traditional wrap and then this new Jim Foods sandwich wraps. Okay, now you might think I want to know more. So I'm gonna expand that to the zero. Anna says, I need a, okay, yeah. Nature's own double fiber wheat bread isn't even made anymore. So let's see. Um, so you might want to make some wraps but let's look at this canyon bakehouse gluten-free ancient grain bread let's click there and see what that looks like there you go here's one that looks like actual bread instead of being a wrap or something like that so this canyon one might be a good one and you just buy it on Amazon right there. Awesome. Thank y'all for asking great questions. Thank y'all for being with me tonight. Please join us again tomorrow night at 7.30 and we'll go over mo more parts of the website. If you do need to play any catch up, just go right back into lap one. And you know what you're gonna have is that visual of the boxes that you've checked off and you just want to methodically check off the boxes. Read the black box that pops up on the link, click on the link, do what it says, then check the box, move to the next one. So it's just an organized way to keep us all together doing the same thing. If you would like to, you can invite your friends to come on to a webinar right now. For every webinar that you join on Shibboleth and you attend for at least 20 minutes in the Zoom room, because we can't keep up with who's on Facebook. Oh, you're welcome, Anna. Um, I'm going to click right here. And how I overcame food addiction and lost weight. Jason is doing this webinar right now. So you could click here and register and go watch him. He is really great. He runs some of our challenges, which is awesome. So y'all have a great night and I will see you hopefully on the Shibby show in the morning. You're welcome, Stephanie. You're welcome, Denise and Phyllis and Racina. Yes, yes. Awesome. We're so glad you're here and Tell Marla hello, and she's awesome, and y'all can do this together, and it's going to be great. It's good to have a Shibboleth buddy. All right. I hope to see y'all tomorrow. Bye.